Hi, my name is Brian Norton with the InData Project at Easter Seals Crossroads, and today we're going to take a look at a new accessibility feature found in iOS 13 called Speech Controller. So let's go ahead and take a look. So today we're going to talk about an option, an accessibility option within iOS 13, um, the newest operating system for the iOS devices, whether that's your iPhone or an iPad. Um, and it's called Speech Controller. Um, and this is something new that I kind of find really interesting for folks who need um, text-to-speech options for the ability to be able to read, um, some, have something read back to them. Um, and so the first thing I'll mention is under settings, um, you obviously uh, have the settings menu and the accessibility settings have a prominent place um, in the settings menu now. You used to have to dig down to be able to find those and now it's just out here in the middle. And so I went ahead and just clicked on that. Um, and if you go up under vision, you're going to find something about spoken content. And under spoken content, you'll see some familiar things. I and mean, if you've listened to our tech tips before, something like speak selection or speak screen allow you to use gestures to either select something and then a speak button will show up in the menu that shows up for speak selection. Speak screen allows you to take two fingers and swipe down from the very top of your device. Um, all the way down to the bottom to be able to read whatever's on the current window or current screen. But now they've included this thing called Speech Controller, and I'm going to go ahead and turn that on. Um, and what that does is it just puts a little menu over here that I can open up or I can close. Um, and so that when I get to text, and I'll go ahead and open up my notes, um, and I'll bring up just a sample note here. If I want to read this, I can just open up this menu and hit the play button. Hello, my name is Brian Norton. How are you doing today? Hit the pause button. Hello, my name is Brian Norton. How are you doing today? It gives me a couple of options. I can move back and forth within the document itself. So it gives me a back and a forward. I can increase or decrease the reading speed. Um, and it also gives me the finger, this little finger icon or hand icon where I can come in here and I can just hold over stuff. Note, hello. My name is Brian Norton. How are you doing today? Or I can come over here. Sorry. Uh, we'll open this up. Oops, I gotta keep clicking that. So if I clicked on that, now I can come down here. Note, Fox 59 interview iOS 13. Agency information Easter Seals Crossroads has... And I can hit stop. And so the, it helps me just be able to point to things on the screen to be able to have whatever's underneath my finger spoken to me. And so it um, really gives better control, I think, to folks who need text-to-speech um, when trying to kind of uh, use an iPad or use a device like this to be able to kind of have, maybe you're in school, maybe you're you know, reading an email or those kinds of things and you have difficulty with reading um, and, and really need that functionality. And so speech controller, again, if you come underneath your settings menu, go under accessibility, go under spoken content, you're going to find that as the third option to be able to turn on just that little menu that can pop in and pop out um, for you to be able to read text. So that's your tech tip for this week. My name is Brian Norton with the InData Project at Easter Seals Crossroads in Indiana.